Well, I'm on Facts of Mars, and you're not going to believe this one. From Oswego, New York, high school students were asked to defend the Nazis and the Holocaust for homework. I don't believe this. I don't believe this. I mean, we expended how many lives defeating them, and now we have high school teachers wanting their uh, charges to defend them? This is beyond belief. Archer Shortlift and Jordan April Wolf 17 felt weird when in February they received an assignment asking students to argue for the extermination of the Jewish people. Why does this teacher still have a job? The words top secret were stamped across top in red. The memorandum first posted online and addressed to senior Nazi party members asked students to put themselves in the shoes of Adolf Hitler's top aides. The only way I would do that is if I, uh, Tried to figure out what they did wrong when they tried to blow his, blow Hitler to kingdom come. Other than that, Archer and Jordan, who are not Jewish, wondered if they understood the assignment correctly. Did their teacher, Michael Denobile, Denobile, really mean for his students to argue in favor of the final solution? Nazis just to for genocide. During class the next day, the noble denobile randomly assigned half the students to argue for and half to argue against the extermination of Jews. Archer was assigned to be in favor of the final solution. Jordan was picked to be against. The students were disturbed by the assignment which they viewed as encouraging anti-Semitism and fascist speech. Uh, I'd be more than disturbed. I'd be hot. Simon itself notes that the point is not for you to be sympathetic to the Nazi point of view. Ultimately, this is an exercise on expanding your point of view by going outside your comfort zone and train your brain to logistically find the evidence necessary to prove a point, even if it is existentially and philosophically against what you believe the assignment says. That is a bull. Yet the assignment did create an atmosphere where one student seemed okay with making a Nazi salute. Jordan Archer said, Jordan overheard a classmate suddenly wish he'd been assigned to argue for. According to Jordan, when asked, she asked the student why, he, he said, because Heil Hitler, duh. Oswego County High School seniors Archer from Center Square and Jordan from Hannibal so they received the assignment in principles of literary representation. Okay, okay so it's a Swigil County, not the town of the Swigils. So this must be strictly Syracuse schools. I don't know. It's hard to tell from this. But, uh, the course was offered through the countywide city both these new, new vision programs. So what's the new vision? The new Holocaust where we exterminate Jews? Unbelievable. The program allows students to specialize in fields such as health, business, or law, and apparently in the extermination of uh, undesirables. They take college-level classes in SUNY's, that's where you can campus three days a week and spend two days 
week at internships. Jordan and Archer are in the program's law and government track. New York education chief sees why Nazi essay was given, says it prompts critical thinking. The concept of having students identify a particular position is pretty critical, where they can analyze the position and then decide whether to agree or not. Commissioner Mary, Mary Ellen Elia said. Unbelievable. I might have a look. That looks like a separate article, so I might have a look at it. Meantime, uh, is there anybody out there who can actually justify this? I'm stunned. I thought it was bad with white privilege stuff. And now we have high schools that are teaching that's okay to exterminate Jews. They're taking the side of the Nazis, who we've expended all those lives defeating. I don't believe this. What on earth is going on in this country? City Superintendent Christopher Todd wouldn't take any questions, but that's CITI. But provided a statement through a spokeswoman, we embrace creativity and respect, and all the students in the class were offered an alternative project of their choosing, three of which took advantage of their opportunity to complete the assignment successfully. What was that? Uh, throwing, was that project maybe throwing homosexuals off a roof or something? For the students, Dean De Mobile, the administrators stood by the assignment. Students say they were told the essay was a lesson in having to do things you don't like and seeing the other side of an argument. There is no other side. This mass murder, they mass murdered millions and millions of human beings and this school says there's another side? I'm sorry, there is no other side. They murdered millions and millions of people. It wasn't just Jews, either. They murdered millions and millions and millions of people. So did the communists, by the way. The communists murdered more. There is no other side here. <laughs> There's right and wrong, and apparently... Our schools don't know the difference between right and wrong anymore. I'm aghast. I can't believe this is happening. No more the facts of Mars. If you're not pissed by now, you're not going to get pissed. Thanks for watching.